Hi there. So, I've spent an hour in the back garden this afternoon. Um, pretty sure I've mentioned at some point that uh, Storm Dara ripped through southern UK in uh, December and took out more than half of my NFED wire antenna. Um, in fact, it took out three out of four supporting poles and left me with just under 50% of my wire still up. Um, about 20 or 30 meters of my wire is still somewhere in that tree. Um, and that's because uh, as the pole collapsed, obviously the tension on the wire dropped and it blew across and I couldn't retrieve it. So I had to cut the wire basically. Um, a few days ago, I reinstalled a telescopic pole at the bottom of the garden you can see it there um, prior to that um, the pole was supported about halfway not even halfway down the garden so I had less than 50% of the wire in the air um, and then today I've uh, managed to uh, reconnect the portion that runs across the garden to the other end and then what I've actually done is I've for the price for the cost of another pole which I bought at the Harwell ARS um, flea market is <coughs> excuse me is another pole so now the wire basically travels over the roof down to the bottom of the garden across it and, and then back up again um, before it then goes back into the uh, feeder so I've actually got more wire in the air now than I did have before Storm Dara actually ripped through my original configuration. I've probably got another 20 or 30 meters of wire in the air. Now, uh, my NFED wire is obviously a compromise um, because I use it on more than one band. Um, and here you can see my weatherproof uh, box. Uh, so this is the antenna going in, the uh, earth here to my earth rod and there's lots of radials that are actually they've been there now for quite a long time there you go there's one that's come off but um, the rest of them appear to be on there pretty pretty well um, in fact that might not even be a radial I can't remember I've been there so long but the rest of them are sort of soldered with tin copper wire so there's a mechanical sort of solder joint um, as well as sort of as well as the actual solder itself um, they all look pretty good at some point I'm gonna have to kind of like pull all that apart and um, renew it but um, for now at least uh, it seems to be working so it's obviously a compromise because I operate on 40 meters 80 meters and on top band um, which is sort of kind of impossible but um, I was actually surprised to find um, how well this wire in its new configuration um, actually matches there's the uh, SDR plate NRSP uh, NRSP ST still going strong still using it um, so I put my antenna analyzer on and I managed to obtain some really good um, matches across several bands I'm just going to my analyzer um, for top band which is typically the most difficult so I've got a match of 1 1.38 to 1 1 to 1.38 on, on uh, top band um, which is excellent uh, particularly for uh, top band being obviously one of the more difficult bands to match and then I've got on, on 20 meters I've got 1, 1 to 1.53 um on 40 meters i've got literally one to one 1 1.04 um and on 80 meters i've got about 1.4 to one so i've got a really excellent match it, of course it's a compromise um because i'm using the same length of wire um for multiple bands but that's a really good result and i'm just what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to plug the uh antenna back in to my uh, venerable Kenwood TF. 
TS 990. Just double check. So, <coughs> so let's just uh, turn the volume down. Uh, so I'm hearing stuff, which is good. Just try and okay. So matched on uh, 20 meters, no problem at all. Let's go to 40. Let's find, see if I can find out. It's actually really busy. So let's just go. Seven decimal one five zero. Yep, matched. Eighty meters. Matched and top band. Matched. So there you go. How cool is that? So I can't remember exactly, but I think that um, that those. Um, um, matching values, so one to one, on, uh, one to one on forty meters, one point five to one on twenty, one point four on eighty, and one point three on top band are probably about as good as I've ever achieved. Um, so I'm really happy with that, and thank you, Storm Dara, for the opportunity to completely rebuild my antenna again um, and end up with what looks to be a um, uh, a, a a better compromise than I had previously. So uh, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. And the beauty of doing it this way is that it only cost me 10 quid. So, and that's the kind of antenna upgrade I like. Um, for 10 quid, it's, uh, yeah, it's a no brainer. So uh, anyway, there you go. If you're about on Wednesday afternoons at 2 p.m. UK time, we start a SCED, the SCED on 7.150 megahertz, and then we QSY to 80 meters, 3.710 megahertz. Um, and then on a Friday night um, at, at 8.30 p.m. UK time, we start on um, uh, top band, 1.846 megahertz, and then QSY to uh, 3.710 megahertz at some point. Um, so, uh, and always welcome shortwave listeners, reports from you guys. So, uh, that's what it's all about. Anyway, there you go. So, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with, uh, with my new antenna setup and, uh, thought I'd share it with you. Okay. Well, thanks for watching and 7-3.